And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Noxus Elusives. We've got a new champion list deck. You know, we've been playing the champion list Elusives and, and loving that one with Ionia and Freljord. Now we're going champion list with Ionia and Noxus. And people are talking about how this could be like the new uh, burn deck. And it's putting up some pretty impressive win rates. Um, but... Yeah, so so we got to try it out ourselves. So basically, what we have here is, you know, like we're trying to get our damage in. We got our our elusive things that, that get our damage in. You know, right? Our blade scout, our green glade duo, um, conspirator, shadow assassin, solitary monk. So there's our elusives, but then we also can get uh, our direct damage in. Crimson disciple plus imperial demolitionist. We all know how great this combo is. You know, getting four damage to them. Of course, legion grenadier being a good blocker and something that's usually dealing nexus damage as well um and uh then you know we have like our transfusion which is just amazing with crimson disciple um noxion fervor gets some more burn damage in there but the cool part about this deck is we can kind of reset some of our combo pieces um with our uh recall like you know using conspirator later on to recall a demolitionist that already dealt two damage to them you know you can get you you get to recall it replay it get that damage in again kind of the same thing with the solitary monk you can have you can pick up both crimson disciple and demolitionist like if your crimson disciple only has one health left pick them both up be able to replay them and get that damage back in there it's so a bunch of cool little little tricks that we can do with this deck um to try to get you know, we're just trying to get 20 damage in before they deal 20 damage to us. So this is our deck. Uh, let's go play some... Um, play, put these two. Let's go play some Noxus Elusives. Oh, right. I didn't update my decklist command. Good call. Thank you, thank you. I will do that now. There we go. Yeah, and if you want to see all of all of my decks, that's that's the exclamation point decks plural. That'll get you the link to all the decks. Okay, Teemo Dravens. So we're playing. So we got a burn v burn matchup. Um, I kind of want to curve Grenadier into Solitary Monk, and then what? Do we play like both of these on turn four? Maybe I get rid of Conspirator. Turn one, Teemo. Living the dream. Timo Dreamo. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Get in my way. Run while you can. Of course I'm ready. Alone, we see things as they truly are. Hmm. As fate wills. I think we got a block boom crew. Okay, let's see. We'll attack with Shadow Assassin. The problem with blocking Boom Crew, though, is Shadow Assassin is the only thing that blocks either Teemo or Precious Pet. Unless I, you know, transfusion. I have the best Look. job. Remember the objectives. Make the Empire proud. Let Teemo level up. Mm 
Maybe I'll just bounce Draven. Bounce Draven, we got four extra mana. Down to ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just don't have the mana to do everything right now. But the decimate kills them. Yeah, I can't cast decimate this turn anyway. Hopefully I do something pre-combat and I get to decimate. Hopefully. Hands off the merch. Nope. Alright, so we're going to... We're going to do this so we block. Right, like I don't want to take any damage. I'm going to block everything. Because with this being fearsome, we got to do that to be able to block. Yeah, Euro. Basically, Euro. All three of those decks, though, like the Mage Seekers, Viheimer, Vi Twisted Fate, they're all, they're all super similar. Um, and you know they use a lot of the same cards, but as far as like which one to craft first, kind of which one you, um, whichever one you're gonna enjoy more, you know, whichever one you think that you'll play better, enjoy more, go with that. There's not like a A hard and fast answer, probably. All right, so do they have it? Please no, please no. Please don't have it. They need four fast damage. No, 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 no. No. Yes. Super close game. We were victorious. Yeah, super close game there. Um, pulled that one out. But yeah, that was a super close game. That was that was a good one. Fun. Yes, yes, exactly. That's what you want to do with the Mage Seeker deck. You want to play nothing on turn one and turn two and play turn three Remembrance. That's that's your best play. And, and you usually want to mulligan cards that are not Remembrance. You want to try to find Remembrance. Do we want to keep all these one drops? They have like a make it rain that could be horrible for me. Maybe we don't. I wanted to find two mana cards. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. The day don't be riches. Hmm. We have a whole lot of two mana cards in our deck. Don't ask where it's, it's come much. 
Didn't get any of them though. There you are, Green Glade Duo. A little late. Let none disturb my meditation. What is this attack about? What goes wrong if I block Omen Hawk? Transfusion. Just wanted to pilfer goods. Well, I got three of my burn cards over there. Not a bad spot to be. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Shh, quietly. Yep. I'll try anyone. So I took a Blade Scout from me and a Will of Ionia. And transfusions. So they did have that transfusion. So nice, all that stuff costing one less mana. They just spent four mana and cast a Will of Ionia, a Blade Scout, and a transfusion. Great turn. Alright, so basically the Green Glade duo is going to be very vulnerable to all the different one damage stuff that they got going on. So I'm going to keep the Crimson Disciple alive. Hmm. Alright, maybe this is just a bad decision. i got to spend another card to block this. Or let them trigger Sejuani again. And all this other plunder stuff. That was just a bad transfusion. Basically, my transfusion just killed um, Omen Hawk. So that'll be four out of five for Sejuani. Gather round, gather round. Try me. As fate wills. This, of course, is pretty awkward with the Conspirator and the Legion Grenadier. Or, like, 
Cons yeah, Conspirator and the Monk. Like, that's... Uh, kind of awkward. We're, we're the aggressive deck. I'm, I'm getting aggressive. We'd love to draw another Noxian Fervor. This puts them down to six. If they have a Sejuani, you know, I'm opened up to that now. I hope not. Looking for trouble. Okay, a misfortune. Four. I can block in such a way that I go down to Your path ends go down to one. Routes closed. Um. The solitary monk has to hit them basically no matter what, doesn't it? Um, Your path ends here. I've already seen them play like warning shot. I don't want to just die to a warning shot. Go to three. And that's my safest play. If I try to kill the Misfortune and then they just have like a, an elixir of iron, then I die. I wish I had that Noxian Fervor still. Let none disturb my meditation. Silent as death. Yay! I need no weapon. That's a good card. Alright, GG's.
Dang, another super close game. The closest of games. But alright, good 2-0. Good 2-0 start here. Over in Masters with Noxus Elusives, Championless. Yeah, it's definitely a definitely a little different. Hmm, Fiora Shen. Against Fiora, we definitely want burn spells against Fiora. I'm still gonna replace. Um both these two drops are really good, but it's just a really awkward combination, right? Like we don't want a demolitionist to Green Glade duo. Is a pretty awkward combination. Maybe I'd get rid of the Demolitionist. I wouldn't normally be mulliganing Demolitionist very often at all. I certainly wish I would have mulliganed the Transfusion after drawing another one. Catch me if you can! Yeah, transfusion with Green Blade Duo is also awkward. The Yordle here's with me. So we got Ionia Elusives hey, and That's my resting face. Noxion. Where are you going? Spells. Hang on, Zern. Hmm. They're looking like an elusive deck themselves. They're the aggro deck. The Yordle here's with me. Everything's mm. better with company. Says you. Gone pretty good for them. Hey, Blackjack. Hard counter to Ezreal decks. That's the fate of mortals. There's not really hard counters in Legends of Runeterra. That's not really a thing. Like decks that win, like you know, 80, 90 percent of the time. Like it's not. What's good against Ezreal usually is aggressive decks. Like Ezreal is, uh, you know, has a combo finish. The longer the game goes, the better for Ezreal. So you want to be an aggressive deck. Well, yeah, welcome to the channel, Blackjack. Happy to have you here. Down to seven.
have four points across. Tread lightly, strike hard. Where are you going? Please work. Just let me keep my elusive alive. Hmm. Okay. Guess that's how we're playing it. For the Empire. For the glory of Noxus. Guess that's how we're playing it. Will of Ionia, I need you last turn. Slow down, will you? Mm, that's a great card also right now. Been taking too much damage. I need them to sp so I tap guess. out so I can bounce the Green Glade Duo. Howdy. Yeah, perfect attack. Path ends here. Routes closed. Cause they just replay the Green Glade Duo and then block this thing. them to play some other card. Down to four, maybe we draw decimate. No, just let all this happen. Don't play anything. We got a plan. Let's draw Decimate. Don't ask how I got it. Come on, Decimate one time. With me. No, I don't, Darkness. Come on, Decimate one time. Hmm. Not Decimate. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. So. You're covered. Duty, selflessness. Heavy burdens. I need no weapon. Tread lightly, strike hard. Uh, what else can we draw now? Hold up. Ugh. All right. Well, now it's over. I need to draw other Noxian fervor. Uh. Now they just go straight to attacks. They got me. GG's. Great, great hand. I'll just make them go straight to attack. I find them unworthy. They are under my protection. Yeah, a great hand. The elusives to block mine. No, I don't have any Vlad Neverglade collector decks. Um, I have not. This is my first time trying this list, so no, I haven't played it with Katarina. Um, 
Thoughts on Elusive's burn? I'm not sure. what What is Elusive's burn? What is that deck? A lot of people use the word burn to mean different things. It should mean using burn spells, like spells that deal direct damage, but some people... Some people play, like, Fiora Unyielding Spirit and call it a burn deck, which makes no sense to me. Is that Elusive Burn? So which deck is Elusive Burn? I've like never had a card to play on turn one. <laughs> Dang, precious, pe precious pet. Which probably isn't exactly what we want. Oh, like the, the Kinku Elusives deck? Yeah, I like I like the Championless version myself. Yeah, that I've been playing. I yeah, I really like that deck. And everything's better with company. Says you. Yeah, yeah, there was that, that Demacia pump spell deck that was called Elusive Burn. I, that that never made any sense to me. But, okay, so now people are calling this Elusive Burn. This would kind of make sense for Elusive Burn. There are a few burn spells in here. Um... Let's save the Solitary Monk to be able to pick Crimson Disciple... Imperial Demolitionist combo back up. And double spell and get the two attackers. My turn. Um. I think this is probably better than the new Teemo burn. It they're you know pretty similar. I would you know I'm I'd be more comfortable playing this though. It's it has I think it's a little harder to play against than the Teemo burn deck. Remember the objectives. The few are the many. This game isn't really too much about better because everything's so close and, and you know depending on the pilot and everything. Um, but if you like, you know, if you want to just check out like stats and everything, Mobilytics, the website that I use for my deck list. If you go over to that website, left hand side they have a meta stats. You can click on that and you can kind of look at like these different, you know, like uh, like this version, the Championless Elusives, the Teemo Burn. You can kind of look at like all like their stats they have on there for win rates with different versions of the decks and everything. Okay, we're gonna go straight to attacks. If they don't break, don't burn. demolitionist first. For the glory of Noxus. Okay, okay. Kinda punished. I love a taste of the action. Let's not ruffle our feathers. Oh, an auspicious season. Fly away while you can. No, I haven't tried Shen Misfortune. 
Okay. No, I haven't. Now feel free to, uh, if you have like the decklist code, feel free to, to post it here if you, uh, if you wouldn't mind. I'll take a look at that. Yeah, Shen Misfortune. I've wanted to try out some different Shen stuff. I was thinking of doing Lucian Shen today, uh, but you know, play these other decks instead. But that was the deck that I was thinking about playing today was Lucian Shen. Non Demacia Shen decks are fairly rare. Alright, let's take a look at this. Alright, so they're doing some stuff over this there. Will be a good winter. pretty good. Bounce the thing that costs four mana, make it, you know, it's difficult to play that thing. A lot of cards over there. Ten cards to be precise. Yes. Yeah, Scales of the Dragon's not a bad card. It's just, is it, like, best thing to be doing? I don't know. I mean, Jaw... I feel like Jaw Hunters is a better card. Never see me Most likely. Like they both, co both cost three. Scales is a 4-2 that makes... What, the one one mana plus zero plus two in hand? Where Jaw Hunters is like a four one, but it has Challenger, which is really important. Especially Challenger is amazing with Shen. And then all you also get a sea monster. Down from the trees. I love a taste of the action. This will be a good winter. <laughs> You'll be sorry. All right, what do I got for two mana? It's double brittle steel. By snow in 
and stars. This would be a good winter. Yeah, it keeps him alive. Um, could Noxion Fervor and put him down to one. Doesn't seem to be that important. I could now, like, they're they're tapped out. I could Noxion Fervor kill the Fizz. But I feel like it's going to be difficult for, for Fizz to kind of get through anyway. Have two elusives. Like I, I just don't think that's a, a good use of my resources. Well, I will block. I should have done that during combat. If they would have gone straight to combat, I'd probably block with the two power. But now obviously I block with the the vulnerable solitary monk. Alright, Grenadier plus Noxion Fervor probably finishes this out. One mana. Would be my assumption. Zero mana. This has got to work. Alright, finally. And three and one. That felt like a pretty good matchup for us with having these different elusives to block Fizz. Fizz definitely struggles against elusives. Alright, 3 and 1. Let's get that win. Go to a 4 1. So, the deck we lost to is a nice version of Shen Fiora, with, also with a bunch of elusives. Ooh, the deep deck. The deck I never really like seeing that I get paired against no matter what I play. I don't like seeing it. Um, hmm. Awkward hand. What I think of Yasuo's current state? I think it's a, as good as it can be. I think Yasuo itself is is a really powerful card. I don't think they can just keep making it a better champion, honestly. I don't think that's, like, the answer. Just the thing is, is Yasuo is just flawed because of how much it cares about recall and stun. And those are two, like, pseudo-removal things that don't actually remove anything, you know? Permanent, you know, it's not, they're not permanent removal. Just putting something back into their hand, like your opponent's hand. Or keeping one of their things from being in combat for that turn. So it's just, it's just the weakness of, of, um, those, those keywords. Um, the other thing about stun and recall is that... They, they don't really do very much unless your opponent is playing units for you to stun and recall also. So, you, you know, you are relying on your opponent kind of playing along with your game plan. But like, the actual card Yasuo is incredibly good. 
It's just you have to... You have to play a strategy that relies on your opponent to play into it, one, and that you, know, you need your things to line up. You need to have, like, your Yasuo and then have your stun and recall cards. Um, it's a tall order. Yes, the Freljord Ionia Elusive deck is absolutely a good deck. Talk about an awkward hand. Talk about an awkward hand. If they don't break, they'll burn. War Mason, reporting for duty. One Crimson Disciple would have made this hand a lot better, but they may have just had removal for Crimson Disciple. There's always a way out. We have a lot of damage over time, but it's a pretty slow burn and how good their start is and everything. I, d I don't, I don't know that we're going to be winning this. I'll be, kind of I'll be kind of surprised if we win this game, to be honest. It's not, it's not over, but I'll be surprised if we end up victorious. Yeah, you know, they have like one grasp of the undying. It's going to be real hard to win. I think they are setting up a Withering Whale. I'm glad they didn't cast it during combat. I will tend this garden. Remember the objectives. You are the many. Maybe we can get there. We do have a lot of damage. I mean, hopefully, hopefully, they don't have Grass the Undying. Anything like that. Great time to have transfusion. For the Empire. Man, that would have been a great transfusion. Yeah, that tra yeah, how good that would have been if we would have been able to turn that solitary monk into a six four. Keep it alive. We gotta do nine more points. Certainly possible. If they don't have life gain, definitely doable if they don't have life gain.
sizzling! Death doesn't scare me. This levels up now, Kai. I take that one point. Nine. Down to five. Swift and silent as the breeze. Reset. Six, eight. Remember the objectives. Please don't have grass be undying. Just have no. Just have vengeance. They're gonna have a the removal spell. One more mana. There's always a way out. I'll hit him for two, decimate. One mana short. Two plan out of there. Remember the objectives. Make the Empire Doing this over Grenadier while we know that's gonna resolve, like where they don't have a removal spell in response. It's not bad. So I can block the three. The three sea monsters. My feet on death. Routes closed. Thanks, Bazoo. Yeah. This is a pretty interesting game that we just played. Basically gonna be over one way or the other. In my opinion, I like the Lux Heimerdinger deck more than the Vi Heimerdinger deck. I think it's over in our favor. We decimated. I don't know how much damage we dealt with Imperial Demolitionist, but it was a lot. <laughs> like, how many Imperial Demolitionists did we play that game? Ten? Obviously, they didn't all do damage. I don't know, eight? Did we played eight of them? I don't know, we played a lot of them. That kind of shows you, like, the... Like, the... The unique aspect to this deck that... You know, if you kind of play like the the more the Teemo burn deck, when you have like those blockers, it's really hard to you know get through all those blockers that they had and deal enough damage 
uh, to kill them. You know, especially like the two mana one four that whenever it dies has life steal. You know, it's, it's hard to get through those. But this, you know, has the elusive things that just, you know, that they can't block, which is really nice. You know, Conspirator, Solitary Monk. And then, you know, you have the Demolitionist direct damage, but you have that combo with Demolitionist, Conspirator, pick it back up, replay it. Shadow Assassin, or sorry, uh, Solitary Monk, pick them all back up, keep redoing it. Uh, it's just a great combination that you have. Kind of the same with the Retreat. And you can just kind of uh, do a lot of damage over time. Like, that deep deck is not very fast, and they, they did not have a fast hand at all. They didn't have the 3-2 Lifesteal, which that was big. I'm not having that. Um, so yeah, kind of shows just the, the power of what you can do there. So yeah, pretty, pretty sweet deck here. And yeah, we went four one and the, our one loss was a similar deck, you know, another blade scout, green glade duo shadow assassin deck. They just had, um, a little bit better hand than us, but it was definitely a really close game there as well. Got them what down to four. And so that was our loss. All right, but there we go. So championless Noxus Elusives, definitely really good championless decks. How are we looking on rares and and everything? We got three, six, um, seven, eight, eleven, thirteen. So just thirteen rares, no epics, no champions, no epics. Thirteen rares, twenty-seven commons. That's a that's a really good budget deck. And you know, doing doing real well over here in Master. So there we go. Alright. Um sixty four hundred shards. Okay. Yeah, so not not bad. Not bad, sixty four hundred shards. Not bad at all. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, and of course if, if you've been playing like the uh, Championless Elusives deck, then you probably already have you know, Green Glade Duo, that's a rare, you know, Blade Scout, Green Glade Duo, Conspirator, uh, Shadow Assassin. You probably have a lot of these cards. You know, maybe you have Monks or not. You probably have a lot of them. All right, anyway, yeah, y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this Nox's Elusive deck. If you've been playing it yourself, let me know how it's going for you. I love seeing those positive comments. Any questions over there also. All right, but anyway, thanks so much for watching. And I will see you for the next video.